Hello people, I am Sky Demolisher and welcome to another From the Collection Fridays, a series where I take things from my collection and show it to you, my viewers. And this week it is my Legend series Darth Vader helmet from Hasbro. Uh, I believe this came out maybe a year or two years ago. Um, it's a fairly recent purchase for me, or I, I shouldn't really say a purchase, it was my Christmas present this year. Um, of which I'm quite grateful for. Uh, in a future episode you'll probably see my Ruby's Darth Vader helmet but I wanted to start with this one because it's larger, bulkier and uh, all around much much better. So I'll give you a nice wee spin. Um, it's probably a little dirty at the moment. Um, I haven't cleaned it in a while. I should but I'm a lazy person and uh, I've recently had a cousin over with his kids so they've been playing with it or at least looking at it and enjoying the sounds it makes and speaking of sounds the easiest one to trigger is over on this side Now there's no voice box in this one so it doesn't change the tone of your voice when you're wearing it and I'm going to stay right here and now I am not putting it on and showing you what it's like when it's on me. Um, I'll see if I can find a photo of it at some point that I've taken but generally I have this as like a display piece or possibly future cosplay thing uh, but it would just take too long to put it all on on video and there's other um, people that have covered putting it on and what it feels like and stuff but I will show you what's under the hood um, so the first things first you can take off the helmet and you can see there that it has magnets that hold it onto the top of the head um, and then when it's got that backing off you can see the intricacy of the neck brace um, and the detailing that's been put into the side of it there's the strapping for your head uh, it is adjustable and carries on the details like that so I think that's a pretty good shot of it from the front now if I hold the back bit here and just pull off the top you can see that there's a hopefully it caught it a sound effect there as you remove it and here you can see where the magnets are and the detailing on the top uh, if I spin it around and I'll pull the the strap up that is kind of what you get to see when you're looking through it and as you can see it's detailed on the inside too um, so these square panels correspond with the inside panels here uh, and of course there's sort of like fake wiring put in there um, and there's a pad at the top for the top of your head so it's, it is quite comfortable um, excuse me while I reach across and then there is the neck brace itself as you can see there's a button there and that changes the way that the breathing mechanism works um, I'll just keep turning it so you can see all the details along the back there um, and there's detailing on the inside too um, the way you get you can actually disconnect both sides but I generally just do one so it disconnects like that that is where your batteries go um, I believe that they were AAA batteries and there's a small slot there which corresponds to this little piece here and you just click it into place and that will fit, normally fit around your neck um, and then of course this other thing that you see here that is the stand for the helmet because if you don't use a stand the back of 
I'll show, you, I'll show you. The back of this won't sit um, flush on the ground um, because if if it's on there, it will push the face bit forward, um, and that's why it's got a stand. Um, and it, it's a very simple stand. Um, it can be a little difficult to piece it all together and then sit it on the stand, but we'll give it a go. And I apologise if my voice just got really loud then because I had to get so much closer to the camera. So when you slide on the mask, there are clips on the inside which help it go into place. And as you can see, it's got a sound as you put that back on. And then you just place the top of it over the top. You might, whoops, hopefully my background doesn't fall. You might need to wiggle it a bit just to get it so that the magnets clamp down. But other than that, uh, it is a very, very simple and very awesome item. Um, I got mine from Mighty Ape. Uh, I'm not sure if Mighty Ape still has them in stock, but they might. Um, I know that EB Games and Toyco also had um, versions of it for sale. So I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Um, please like and subscribe. And until next time, take care of yourselves. Bye.